What's up everybody? So today I'm going to be attempting to do a flower wall. So I've been wanting a flower wall ever since I was inspired by this picture I saw on the shade room. It was just so beautiful and I thought it would be so pretty to take pictures up against. Plus I've had a client actually ask me if I had a flower wall or if I could put them on a flower wall and I said, you know what? It would be a nice addition to the studio to make it look really cute and I can use it for a picture. So today I'm going to be doing a flower wall, but I won't be doing it alone. My girls are going to help me do the flower wall because they don't know it yet. So they know that we're doing a DIY and we're getting ready to go to the Dollar Tree to get some supplies, but they have no idea what the supplies are for. So it, I just felt like it would be something fun to do with the girls. So if you want to see if it happened or how it comes together, keep watching. The thing that we're going to need in our DIY is flowers. So any idea what the DIY is yet? Um, what do you think, Caddy? Um, I think these. What do you think I'm going to do with the flowers? Like make a headband. What do you think, Caddy? I'm Alexi. Um, I think you're going to make bows out of it. Bows and headbands, is that's what they think. Okay, we'll see, right? Colors we chose. Let's see if colors. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty. Well, Nika picked it out. Yes, I did choose the colors because I already have an idea for the colors that we're gonna use. They're very pretty roses, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Color. Which one do you like, Lexi? Um, I like this one. Okay, they like the same one. Welcome back. So as I told you guys before, we're going to be doing a DIY, something for the studio, and I'm going to have Cassie and Lexi help me with that, and they don't know what it is yet still, but we did go out and get some supplies. What did we go out and buy, guys? We bought some glue sticks, and we bought some rollouts. Some glue sticks, and some glue sticks, and we bought some flowers. Yeah, so we got a lot of flowers here, and the other thing we're going to need is a hot glue gun and scissors. So, now that we got these supplies, What's your ideas, guys? What do you guys think we're going to make? I think we're going to make like a big circle of it. A big circle. Of like flowers. a wreath? Yeah. So Lexi says she thinks we're going to make a wreath. And earlier she actually said that she thought we might be making flower headbands. Oh, what do you think we're going to make? I think we were going to make a heart out of these. A heart, because it's Valentine's Day, so that would be a great idea, yeah. right? And what else did you say? What was you gonna say? Um, I was gonna say the same thing. Okay. Okay. So, those are great ideas, but not quite right. I have been wanting to make a flower wall for my studio, and by flower wall, I'm gonna kind of put a picture in right now, so you can see the kind of concept that I'm looking for. And the reason is because number one, it's gonna add really a lot of decor to the studio. And two, it will be really great for like my shoots where that I have beauty, hair, a lot of people are coming to do makeup photo shoots. And I thought, you know, with the flower background, I think that's just gonna be so beautiful. So my first idea was to make a flower wall and I've watched a lot of tutorials about it. And most people use poster board and they put it to the wall or they go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they get the foam board and put holes in it and make the flower wall. So that was my first idea. I said, you know, I'm gonna go get something so I can put it on the wall because I have a nice place on the wall where I want to put it. And then I thought, hmm, what else could I use just in case I wanna remove that or I don't want that in here. So, so I have this large partition that I use for people who are changing clothes in here. So I thought, how can I repurpose this to make it into my flower wall? Good idea, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show you. So I did a little trial before the girls got involved and I actually started putting the flowers on the opposite side of this flower wall. And I started to sort of make a cluster of the design I would like to make. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is what? Glue sticks and flowers. 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 So I'm going to give each of you a flower and I want you to start taking them apart just like this because we're going to need this part. But we also are going to be using some of the greenery so we're going to kind of set it aside because we're going to fill it in later in the spots where there's holes. So I'm 
doing the peach. I'll give you the red. And you can do the white. Oh, you want the white? There you go. And if you'll just start taking them off and just laying them aside so we'll have flowers to get started, okay? Take that one off, baby. Take the green part off. And, and taking these flowers apart and just seeing how massive a project this is, we felt like we would probably need some extra help. So who are we going to call you guys? Cherry! So they wanted Cherry to come help. And so here she is. And actually, what we're going to do is, I'm going to have Cherry start at the other end of the board just because we might get to a point where we run out of flowers and in case I have to mix it up and get new flowers in, I know I can find the reds and I know I can find the whites and preliminarily looking at all the flowers, we have a lot of white and red, but not as much peach. So I wanna make sure I blend the peach out really well and save some for all over the board. So who's gonna be Cherry's helper? Blessy's is gonna help Cherry and me and Cassie is gonna work on this one. So I found out the best strategy for making the holes for the flowers is just to use the stem of one of these flowers. And so we're gonna use the stem and we're gonna go ahead and poke holes and sort of line out, lay out how our flowers are gonna be. And you kinda of just wanna space them apart. No no big, no big deal on how you're gonna do it. You just wanna make sure you have a good color combination going of these three colors. And then along the way, I also decided to go ahead and put in some greenery. give it a little bit more definition, yeah, grass definition. So we won't have to do as much filling later. So now we're just gonna go in where the holes that were made and we're gonna just put a little bit of glue on there and pop it right into the hole. You do gotta be mindful that this glue is hot, especially working with children, to make sure that they don't touch the part where the glue is, right? Mm -hmm. So be very careful because this glue might burn your skin, okay? Another thing is this glue does dry very fast, so you want to make sure that you put it in very quickly. You smell it? Okay, so as you guys can see, we are not even halfway do through with this project, but I do love the way it's coming together. The colors are very, very pretty together. It is tedious, but I mean, it's fun. We're listening to music and things like that. And um, of course, we're not gonna finish today. This is about how many flowers we have left. I don't even have enough flowers probably to finish half, but we're gonna continue working. The girls are leaving us because they have to go home today. And when they come back, if we're not done, we'll finish. And if we're done, we'll show them what we got, right? Yeah, but we still have more flowers. Okay. All right, tell everybody goodbye for now. So it's been about a week later. I'm about halfway through the flower wall and I need more flowers. And in my city, both Dollar Trees are out of flowers that I need. So 
We're in Morrisville. It's like 40 degrees. It's cold out here and they got the flowers outside. So I'm gonna quickly try to see if they have what I need. If not, I'm gonna have to hit another one. So let's see what they got. So I did get a few out here, but as you can see, this is all I have, but I really needed this peach color. So I'm gonna go inside and see if they have more in there. Let's hope so. So luckily it is Valentine's Day, so red ones are not as hard to find. So that's, that's very helpful. Okay. So after going to Mooresville and I cleaned them out of the flowers I needed, I still felt like I need at least 10 more flowers. So I bought 11 and now I'm in Cornelius, which is two or three cities away from my city, but I had to come this way anyway. So hopefully I got my fingers crossed that we have enough flowers to finally finish this project. So it's 12 midnight. We got the flowers and I thought we was gonna have so many extra. I have one, two, three, four, five buds left. And this is about how much I still have remaining. Mind you, I had to go to other cities to get these flowers, but I am liking the outcome. My daughter Cherish helped me and we worked on it until now. It's about 12 the next day. So so far, I'm happy with the outcome. I did, I did take some Velcro and I got this off Amazon. I'll leave the link in the bio. It's the heavy duty industrial strength Velcro. It was like $5 and I did attach it to both sides. So now I am approaching the end of the flower wall. And as you can see, we have this black seam that runs right down the middle of the flowers. I decided to go in and close that gap so this is that other scene, and as you can see, it looks very fluid. As I've closed the gap, one of them. So I'm gonna go through and do the other two the same way, because I just feel like it looks a lot better filled in. I'm not sure at all, but I think I've used about three or four packs already of glue sticks. You might keep count, but you don't need a lot. Going to keep on making my little holes. It was a little bit more comfortable doing on the floor, but you know, once you get to the middle section, it's kind of hard to do it on the floor. So then, you know, I moved it to the wall. It's still not that difficult. It it dries really fast. So we are almost done, and as you can see, Lexi, show them where we have to close the seam in. So, wait. Please ignore this bun. It is falling apart. I hope that you like the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And leave comments of anything else you would like to see me do because God knows I love doing things. 
Thank you. See you next time.